Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Well, today I'm gonna to take a look at this cool little drift car that was sent to me from Timu. This is an all wheel drive. It's still, still toy grade, but it's something that ought to be fun to like drive around on concrete or inside of your garage. They give you some slicks you can put on that are plastic that you can drive around and kind of drift, or you can just use rubber tires to do some regular you know, on-road driving. This is from Free RC. Now it doesn't have proportional steering, but it does have a proportional throttle. So let's take a look inside the box here. This is 1 14th scale as well, so it's a decent size. It's not super tiny. But here is the car. Now, you have a little, uh, just a toy grade controller. Here are those plastic uh, wheels. You get a little charger for it in here. And you get some uh, cones that hopefully are showing up here on the floor. I've already put them down. You get four plastic cones for a little, you know, a course to set up like in your garage. And you get your instruction manual and a few more stickers. Now let me go ahead and set the box over here. And you can see on the car, and you probably saw in the intro, I got a little a look at it as well. Um, you do have, you can't take the body off of it. It does have some body clips. I don't know why you'd probably want to mess with that because the battery is actually on the bottom of the car. You have a couple little locking mechanisms. You push to the side and then you just pull the battery out. This is a 2S lipo pack. I was really surprised to see 2S in something that's still sort of toy grade. Usually you're only having 1S or sometimes even nickel cadmium and stuff like that. But they give you a little charger that you use on here, which I mentioned, a little USB charger that's in the box to plug into this. So you just snap it in there and then lock the locking mechanisms and away you go on that. It has these, like I mentioned, these rubber tires and I think they look really sharp with the white lettering on them, a little red accent as well. And these would be really nice for just your everyday driving. So what I want to do is I want to put this down and just kind of drive it around here in the garage and use the rubber tires first. And then I'll uh, attach the plastic ones. You just take a little screwdriver they give you and take each wheel off using the Phillips screw and take these off. And then you can put the, the plastic slicks on so it'll slide a lot better. This is all wheel drive. So we'll see how that works uh, when drifting because lots of times you think of the drift cars being just rear wheel drive, but we'll see how that works. So let me get this uh, set up and I'll be right back. All right, so I got it powered on here. You can see it's got some red uh, rear lights and it's got some white here on the front. So it does have a little bit of LED lighting. I tried to trim it up a little bit using just the trim dial on the bottom, but it was pretty close to right and being correct right out of the box. So let's go ahead and just kind of drive it around here with the rubber tires for a moment, just see how it works. You know, there's going to be a bit of delay. The steering way that works, you know, it's sort of all or nothing. So there's no in between, but there's, thankfully there is variable speed there, as you can see a little bit on the throttle. So at least you don't have to go all or nothing on the throttle, but the steering might be a little bit tricky here. Let's just give it a go. So let's throw it down here, get it out to where you guys can see it. It's still, as you can see, that it's still going to drift a little bit, even with the rubber tires, because of the, uh, um, the how slick this garage floor is. You can see it still drifts. It's not too bad, you know. It's, I, obviously, a proportional uh, steering would be better, but then again, for this price point, it's hard to complain too much. I'll show you kind of full speed here. It's a little quicker than I thought it would be. That's full speed. You can see it's spinning out. It's not too bad. I'll show you that again. Full speed. Honestly, for what, without even putting the plastic tires on here, this is probably going to be about right. I think the plastic are going to be super slick. And you obviously need a slick surface. You're not going to be able to drift on a textured concrete even with the plastic tires. 
just a piece of garage dust junk on the back of the car. Um, this may just be perfect for what, I, what I'm doing. I feel like the plastic tires are going to uh, be so slick. We'll have to test it out here and see. Let's go ahead and just uh, get that junk off. Let's go ahead and put the uh, plastic ones on now. I got a lot of, you know, cobwebs and stuff from the garage sticking to it. Let me get those on and we'll be right back and test those out and see what kind of difference that makes. All right, so I got the plastic slicks on the car. As you can see, they're a little bit smaller diameter. And, you know, they, but they don't look too bad, but I still think, you know, the rubber tires with the uh, kind of real rubber feel with the white lettering looks a little bit better. Now, again, Timu was kind enough to send this out to me for review. If you're interested in picking this up, be sure to use my uh, promo code. I'll put it up on the screen, and it'll be down in the video description and in the pinned comment. Use that, and you can get this car for a lower price than it's typically listed. I just don't know exactly what that price is at the moment, but it will, I'll put it up here on the screen of what you can pick this up. That would be if you are a first time customer and download the app. So if you're our existing customer, the discount is not there. But if you're a new uh, first time customer to Timu, then you can get this car at a lower price than the regular retail price. Let's go ahead and just uh, get this down on the ground here and uh, see how this does with the plastic slicks. Let me go grab the controller. Let's see how this works now with the uh, plastic uh, wheels on it. Yeah, they're spinning. Actually, it's funny, they're, they're slipping enough that, let the truck go by, it's kind of noisy outside. It actually is better than I thought because the tires are plastic and they, they slip, they don't have much traction, the car doesn't get going as quick and you can just kind of spin around. Ooh, ran into it. Actually, this is actually pretty good. I really thought that this would be too hard to control. But this is not bad. Now, one thing I noticed there, whenever you steer it, let's see if you get turn signals there, but they're red, depending on which direction you're uh, turning. But it doesn't do it, obviously, on the white lights on the front. This is fun just to drift around, even if you don't want to mess with the cones. Actually, I do like this, I think, a little better than the rubber ones on this surface. Now, that your steering diameter, when it's not drifting or not, you know, sliding, is not that great. But when it slides, it makes up for it. If you're just going straight and you try to turn, you have to really let off the throttle and try to turn because it doesn't have a really... A tight turning radius and of course with it being non-proportional steering that does affect that quite a bit yeah that's pretty cool yeah this is more fun with the slicks on I just thought it might be too hard to control it but it's actually not so for this surface, the slicks are definitely better. The rubber are not bad, but if we were, if we were to take it out here on this textured surface of my driveway or somewhere like that, the rubber tires are gonna give you better top speed. They're gonna grab the surface better and give you better traction. But this is just fine like this. And that's really what this car is for, is for drifting. So, you know, it's kind of, you know, this is a really small car and and uh, it's not always easy to even see these cars in my head cam as well. So I think that's a good enough demonstration of what this car can do. You can see it's top speed. We could take it out, put the rubber tires back on it and drive it around out here in the street or something. But, you know, I think we get a pretty good idea of what this little car does. So again, if you're interested in this, you can pick this up in Timu. Just check the uh, video description in the pinned comment and you can pick this up potentially for less than the typical price if you are a new customer and you download the app and use the code, my um, special code that they included for this video. All right, guys, that should wrap up this video. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Or you got to click the bell that way you notify when I do upload new videos. And as always, guys, have a great day. The power of the dark side, 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 side.